Hi, I'm Craig Wilson from Avid, and today we're going to have a quick look at how I can use Media Central UX not just to go in and do sub clips, but actually to create a short list or sometimes called, you know, a select reel. So I've got my sequence loaded here. Of course, I've got my sequence pane. If the sequence pane isn't open, just go to the panes menu, go in and open up the sequence panel for you as well. I've got some media loaded. Of course, there's my folder. that has got all my clips in it. And then what I want to do is rather than just doing a sub clip, you know, one in, one out, I actually want to build together a sequence of shots. So I can simply go in, I can use my keyboard to do this. I can use the mouse to go in, mark in and out. And then the editing's really simple, simply drag and drop down into the timeline. Now once the clips are in the timeline, of course I can go in, I can trim them, you know, I can make them longer or shorter. Let me go in and choose something else. So there's a shot of the captain of the boat, so let's just make the shot a little bit longer. And this time drag and drop down into the timeline. Let's go in and choose something else here. So there's the, the dog that's kind of lying on the bay watching the boats go around. Again, drag and drop into the timeline. Now I can rearrange the clips in the timeline. You see here as I move the clips around, they rearrange. You'll also see that there were some logs uh, that have been added to those original master clips or sub clips that I'm using. Well, those pass over you know, into the, the sequence that I've created uh, as well when I go in and do it. So let me just go in and choose another shot here. Nice wide shot of the bay. So again, I'll mark an in point and an out point here. And again, just drag and drop into the timeline. And then on my media viewer, I've got two options. I've got my asset view, and that's actually looking at my rushes. And then I've got my output view. So in Media Composer, you know, think of source and record. Here, I've got asset and output. And it's designed in that way to save the screen real estate, to give you more that you can actually do with the screen itself. So if I want to review the sequence that I've cut, simply go to the output screen, and then I can come in and I can play the sequence back. 